What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Giants video. Happy Friday out there to everybody. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of the video, I'm just going to ask everybody, if you haven't done so, man, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description below. I will follow you back on both of those. It's just, you know, you don't always get the notifications on YouTube. All notifications go through Twitter and pretty much all the time. I'll let you know if I'm live or I did a video on Instagram as well. So if you guys can follow me, like I said, I will follow you back. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you know, like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. That would be great. Really appreciate everybody that watches. Of course, tonight, talking Giants with a man, the entertainer. We'll talk about Will Hernandez. We'll talk about what I'm about to talk about in this video with Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones not wearing masks. Talk about the upcoming game against the Buccaneers, and of course, take your questions from the chat. So, hope to see you all there. It's my favorite thing that I do on YouTube, and uh, hope you guys will tune in for that. Now, I've kind of given my opinion on the whole thing with uh, Saquon and Daniel Jones and a couple other Giants that went out and didn't wear their mask. I really don't care. Uh, they're grown men; they can do whatever they want to do. I'm not going to get on them. People are like, "Yo, how can you not? How can you go out after the fact? You, you lost the game. How can you go out and party? I mean, you never had a bad day at work. And I said this in a live stream. You, you ever have a bad day at work? What are you going to do? Go home and sulk, cry in your pillow? No, you go out. You have a good time. You live life. You know that's what these guys did. Now it does go against NFL protocol, and that's the big issue here. So what I want to know is, what is Joe Judge going to do? Now, Joe Judge has already set an example by suspending Andrew Thomas for disciplinary reasons. I don't know if we ever found out what the disciplinary reason was that Andrew Thomas uh, was had to sit out for a whole quarter. But if Joe Judge is going to make a statement, and if he's going to earn the respect of all the players and the fans and the media and everything else, he needs to handle this. Now, I know he said he's going to handle it internally. But what is he going to do? I really don't know what you can do to Saquon Barkley. I mean, the man just had ACL surgery. He was scheduled for ACL surgery. I don't know what you're going to do to him. He's not going to get suspended. He's not playing the rest of the year. So I don't know what you do to Saquon Barkley unless you find him or something. I really I really don't know um, exactly what you're going to do. But in my opinion, Daniel Jones should sit out a quarter. That's my opinion. People are not going to like it. I don't care. Like I said, it's if, if I cared that people did, did not like some of the things I said, I wouldn't be on here doing this the way I do it, okay? But Daniel Jones should be suspended for at least a quarter, and that is just the way it goes. If you're going to suspend Andrew Thomas for disciplinary reasons and you want to have a uniform you know, team here and you want to have uniform rules for everybody and you've come in and said, I don't care how high or low you are in the totem pole, you're playing for your job, we expect the same thing out of all of our players players from number one on the roster to number 55 on the roster, you need to make a statement. As a head coach, you need to nip this in the butt again. I don't have a problem with what they did, but the fact of the matter is the NFL does have a problem with it, and it does go against the NFL rules and the protocol of you know COVID safety and everything else that's out there. So there's no doubt in my mind that Joe Judge needs to make a stand, and you need to show that, yes, my quarterback disciplinary reasons he went out he did something he shouldn't have done he made a mistake he's human that's what happens but if you're going to suspend one of your players you must give at least the same penalty to daniel jones because again this will send a message that i don't care who you are on this team if you don't do right by us if you don't do right by the league we will, as a team, as an organization, take action and show you, you will not do that again. I don't want to hear he had to run extra laps at practice or something else, or they gave, they under, they gave an undisclosed fine. No. Daniel Jones should be suspended for a quarter. And that's just the way it goes. That's what I would do if I was a coach. If I've already done that to one guy, you got to do it to everybody. Everybody needs the same punishment, Right? Because it's not like Andrew Thomas, this is like the third or fourth time that he had a disciplinary uh, problem, and then Joe Judge is like, all right, enough's enough, I'm going to suspend you. It seemed to me like it was the first time, and Andrew Thomas has been an absolute disaster, don't get me wrong, but I don't care how good or bad he's been, if you're going to sit him, you need to sit Daniel Jones. I don't know what Joe Judge is going to do with these guys, and I don't even really know who else was out. Uh, that night. And then, of course, we do have this whole thing with Will Hernandez and, and the other guys that are now in quarantine. So, this is obviously a real thing. You know, you, ca you can't just go out and take liberties. I know Joe Judge has said, you know, I've talked to these guys and I let them know, you know, you got to do better than that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. <laughs> Talk is cheap, man. You know what I mean? I love Joe Judge. I got no problem with Joe Judge. I like Joe Judge. I liked. I like his mentality. I like the way he coaches. I like his attitude. Like I like Joe Judge. Joe Judge is a football guy to me. 
okay? And I've, I've backed him the whole season, even though we're one and six. I give him the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, I, I feel like he's done a really good job with what he's had. We, know, we all know we don't have much here with New York. We hear about it all the time, about how Daniel Jones has no time to throw because the O-line stinks. We got no wide receivers. We got no Saquon Barkley. Our defense gets shredded late in games. So we all know that this team doesn't have a lot of talent, right? So... I still think we're the best team in the NFC, by the way, the NFC East, by the way. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but Joe Judge needs to make a needs to make a stand right now. So you know that is what it is. You know, I just want to do a quick video. Give me your thoughts. You know, in the comment section, let me know what you would do if you were Joe Judge. You think Daniel Jones deserves to be suspended for a quarter? Should he have to sit for a quarter? Should he have to sit for a half? Should he sit for a whole game? Should he not have any penalty at all? Same thing with Saquon Barkley. What do you think we need to do with Saquon Barkley out there doing the same thing? So, you know, like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm very interested to see how Joe Judge handles this, and I'm sure we're going to hear about it, you know, in the coming days before the game at some point. I'm sure we'll hear what the uh, disciplinary action, the punishment will be for the guys that went out and, you know, failed to adhere to NFL protocol as far as uh, safety measures go. Anyway, again, that's all I got in this video, guys. Please like and share and subscribe. Tune in tonight for Talking Giants at 10 o'clock with my man, the Entertainment Talk at Sports. And until then, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Bad diggity dizzle, and I am gone. Peace!